This piece is called The Great Work of the Metal Lover, and it uses modern microbiological practice in order to remove gold from seawater, thus solving the ancient philosopher's stone. So this is essentially a bioreactor, so you can kind of think of it as an aquarium on steroids, where we feed it specific types of gases and specific media, and then we put in a uh, dissolved gold uh, solution, because obviously we're not going to be bringing seawater into here, so we have to do something to sort of speed up the process. Over the course of a few weeks, the bacteria that's inside of this flask builds up a colony, and as it's building up a colony, it removes the, uh, the gold from the dissolved gold and turns it into 24 karat gold, the kind that you can put on your finger. I'm not making a GMO, I'm not modifying an organism genetically, but I'm modifying an environment, so I'm kind of forcing the organism to do things that I want it to do. Like this piece that we're, we were talking about here is also about alchemy. The artists went in one direction, the alchemists who turned into chemists and scientists went the other direction. But they were all asking, is it okay to change the will of God? Or is it okay for us to control life? I think in terms of designing bio biology within the arts, when we think about you know, how this, this show is set up, we think of it in terms of us trying to understand how life works and try to understand what's happening in science and technology and how that relates to us. So this is an old debate. This isn't anything new, we just think it's new now.